And hello again, this is John Lundquist, Pellon Academy. This is Algebra 2, 10, 6, Simplifying Rational Exponents. Okay, so. Uh, we know that the property of exponents is that if you have an A, oops, let's take thicker. If you have an A squared to the third power, that's a to the 6. You multiply the two exponents. Okay. So, I can say that this is n to the 4th times 1 half, and then 16 to the 1 half. I can, because this is just this times itself. I mean, I mean, I, this, I can say this is a square root. This is one half, right? Square root of n squared, uh, n to the fourth over 16, right? And I can just split the radical like this. And so I can then, I can just multiply the four times a half, so it would be n squared. And this is square root of 16, which is four. And then that's it. That's all I have to do. And then notice that this is really, this this decimal, 0 0.5, is really a half. So, and I can, I you know, I kind of distribute this, basically. So it's really 9 to the half x to the fourth times 1 half. So this is square root of 9 is 3. And then... 4 times, you know, 4 times a half or a half of 4 is 2, so that's that. 3x squared, done. Um, okay, a little harder. Um, okay, so I got this, well, 1.25 1 1 is really 1 and 25 hundredths. 1 2500 is really 1 and a fourth, which is really 4 5 fourths, right? So this is 81 n to the 12th, the 5 fourths power. Well, okay, I'm going to take 81 to the 5 fourths and then n to the 12th. 12 over 1 times 5 over 4. The 4. Well, I guess what? I know the fourth root of 81 is 3. So I get 3 to the fifth. Because the fourth root, I take the fourth root. This is really fourth root of 81 to the fifth power. The fourth root is 3, 3 times and 3 to the fifth. And then this 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 4 cancels this, 12, and I get 3, so I get n to the 15th. So, and then I know 3 to the 5th. Well, I don't know what it is, so let's just take this guy out. I can turn him on, clear him out. So, 3 to the 5th power. This is a that guy, 243. So we got 243 times n to the 15th power. Done. Okay, so then this one is just, I mean, by the rule of exponents, you add the exponents, right? And then this multiply the, these numbers. So this is 16 times 2, which is 32 m to the 2 plus 3 halves plus minus 2. Well, the 2's cancel. I mean, 2 minus 2 is, that's that's done. So I get 32 m to the 3 halves. Well, you can say that this is really 32 times m to the 2 halves times m to the 1 half because 2 halves plus 1 half is 3 halves. And 
this is one, right? So you could, I guess you could say it's 32 m times the square root of m, I guess. You could do that. I'm good with that. And this one. Ugh, what a mess. Okay, well this x to the one negative one half, I mean that just cancels. That becomes zero. And then so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take I'm gonna yeah, that's just zero. So I get and then the threes cancel. I don't even need those. I mean the three cancels. And then x to the negative one half plus one half. Yeah, that's x to the zero power. And anything to the zero power is one. So that's gone. Threes are gone. Oh, this three is here. So I am ended up with this. I end up with three. The x's are gone. The, this y, I'm going to bring this y upstairs. Uh, I get five negative five six plus seven thirds. Well, okay, I'm gonna multiply this by two and this by two, so I get plus fourteen over six. So now I can add those. So negative five from fourteen is, is nine six. So then I get three. Well, that's the same as 3 and y and 6 over 6 times y and 3 over 6, which is the same as 3y, and this is a half, so it's the square root of y. Boom. Done. So this is 3y times the square root of y. Or you could say 3y, y to the 1 half. I, I don't think they do that. I, I, I think that you're either going to see that or you're going to see 3y to the um, 9 over 6 reduces to uh, 3 over 2, so 3 halves. Actually, it's probably this. It's probably this, knowing this guy, it's 3 halves. 3y to the 3 halves. Or this, 3y to the square root of you never see 3y times y to the half. You don't do. You usually just make it a make it a fract, one solid fraction, even if it's improper. Okay. Then the last one is the six here. Okay. So let's see what do we got. Purple. So I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take y the a well I'm gonna I might as well add these together so I get negative okay so I get a to the negative well I'm gonna have a common denominator 3 over 3 times a to the minus 4 over 3 which gives me a to the minus 7 over 3 okay and then b well, the b is just, so I get b to the one-third, and then b to the two, but I'm going to make it a fraction, so I'm going to put that over one, make that three, and then multiply this by three to get six, so I get b to the seven over three. So b to the seven over three, and now I multiply that by to the second, make it to the second power, so I multiply this out, and I get a. Well, I'm going to bring this downstairs. So I'm going to have the b, and then two times seven is fourteen over three over a to the fourteen over three, which means that I really have this b over a to the fourteen over three power, and I, I think that's what they want. This this is the improper fraction of fourteen over three. I can't see anything else. That, that would that would be the most simplest. Fourteen over three, fourteen over three. That means you just say, take the whole quantity and that'll work. And that's it.
Good luck.